Do we start an earnings recession, Lee, and do the markets care or do they start to look for the back half as things might get better? I think we're definitely going to have an earnings recession. I just don't simply think it matters. Uh, what <laughs> will matter, though, is that the gross margins in the back half of the year are not going to be good. And I think that's going to end up being the focus that everybody kind of, you know, uh, it's an issue, right? Because we're only going to have about four and a half to five percent revenue growth here, and there isn't really anything on the horizon that's going to push that significantly forward. So it's really hard to get to some really good EPS numbers in the back half of the year if your gross margins are going down and they're historically incredibly high right now um, and declining. So we're kind of pushing on the string a little bit. Do you agree that margins are going to come down? I do agree that margins are going to come down, but I. I slightly disagree that we don't have other things on the calendar that could push it forward and I don't want to sound overly optimistic here but the, a trade deal would obviously be something we already covered that you also might see a little bit of a rollover in some of the indicators that started slowing at the end of last year so if we see small business optimism come back if we see the consumers stay healthy if we see overshoots on growth and if we see earnings beats in the right places so places like financials I know we're going to start that this week industrials consumer staples and discretionary you want to see that kind of lift to the market and that could actually, I think, catapult us a little bit further forward. So, Lee, how do you then understand tech? Because the chart that Taylor has is really awesome. If you come inside, you can see the move we've seen in the equity market in the bottom panel. In the top panel is earnings growth, which is going to be negative for three quarters. I, I feel like a little bit of a broken record here. I think I've been in here for the last two <laughs> years saying, you know, the enterprise technology industry group has just been on fire. It continues to be on fire. We're still in this CapEx super cycle there. I mean, look at what Google said last quarter with their CapEx. Uh, incredible amount of money being thrown at this stuff. Banks are throwing an incredible so amount of money at this stuff. don't care about earnings growth for well, it, and it, profits. Well, short look, a lot, of the, a lot of the decline is coming from Apple, right? And that's coming from Asia. Uh, they've had to rejigger prices, all sorts of demand issues. And the interesting thing that we're really looking at is what's going on with the A shares in China massive rally there. That's got to mean something, right? It, like, yes, maybe liquidity fueled, maybe debt fueled, you know, what's going on over there. But a rally like that doesn't happen without some kind of macroeconomic, you know, nice thing going on. Uh, and so, yes, that would be the upside scenario for the back half of the year is China's getting healthy or at least pushing the liquidity into the system uh, and therefore we get rally in industrials and stuff like that. And the industrials really are pretty healthy overall relative to trade war fears and all of that kind of stuff. My kind of, you know, variable that could go wrong is the financials here. And it well, could also go very right, and that would be, again, your upside. So you said that exactly before the financials are going to disappoint. I want to turn to Liz on that question, whether she agrees. And I'll put a chart up here, actually, which might tend to confirm that, which is basically saying that the EPS <laughs> is going down faster than the sales is going down. The white line is the EPS. Hmm. Uh, so do you agree that the financials are likely to disappoint this year? So... Earlier in the year, and, and I started to sound a little bit insane because I kept saying financials are going to do well, the yield curve is going to steepen, and then you know the Fed pivoted and the yield curve did not steepen, so so that didn't work. But what I think might happen with financials is, yeah, they're going to get compressed. Obviously, the EPS is going to get compressed. You do want to see that top line stay steady, so I think that's actually a positive that the revenue is still durable. The EPS is going to get compressed because their margins are getting compressed. And, and always remember, you know, financials lend on the long end and borrow on the short end. So they're, not, they're making less money as long as the yield curve stays flat to inverted. So they could be under some pressure. Where I think it's important, though, to watch is the quality of fundamentals. And that's what investors are going to have to pay attention to here. Now that we've kind of baked through this rally, we have some headwinds coming our way. I actually think China is the biggest risk out there. So if China falls out of bed or if the stimulus isn't as effective as everybody wants it to be, that's probably the biggest risk to risk markets overall. And with some of those headwinds we're facing, investors are gonna really parse through the fundamentals of financials in particular. And I think fundamentally, they're pretty healthy. Uh, so uh, Lee, favorite sector then? I still like enterprise tech, honestly. Yeah. Like I feel like a broken record. I also think that uh, consumer discretionary here, we felt that that was going to be kind of the fulcrum for whether we tipped into earnings recession. And yes, it did come down enough to put us there because we knew materials and energy were going to be down big. I actually think it's stabilized somewhat here. And although the retail sales numbers have been all over the place for some odd reason, uh, we, we do think that the consumer is still pretty healthy. And that, that kind of back half of this big you know, cyclical advance that the consumer has had isn't declining as much as I think a lot of people or as fast as a lot of people thought it would. Mm -hmm. I think it's still pretty healthy. And I think that's, that could be your upside scenario in kind of the back half of the year is the consumer stays really healthy yeah. and you know those stocks outperform.